in this video, we will write the number right here. And every time we will click on this button, the number will go uh, bigger and bigger. Be ready, put your seat belt because we are going inside the adventure. Let's go. So how are we going to display this? First, we will just write a text value. The text value will display a number. Okay, we are inside the body, inside the column. So a column take multiple widget. First widget is the image. Second is the icon button. So after this one, the icon button, we will put a comma. Because if you don't put the comma, this will not work. Example, if I write text and I select this one, you will see that the text, it will say, expect to find a comma. So the comma is before. Okay, so after this one, so we have the first widget, second one, third one, all separated by comma. So you have the comma right here, right here. The text will be only, so if we go there, it will be a string. So a value string is inside bracket and you can write one by example. Perfect. Now you have your number. What we will do is uh, right click format document. This will place in line each widget. So this is why we use it. And now we will need to replace the one by a variable. And every time we will click on this button, the variable will go higher and higher. Okay. We will use the same thing as this one, the int index, and we will create another one. So it will be again, a int value. That means it is a number. And this will be the uh, preced, preced index or preset number. You can write it the name that you want. Perfect. So I will say that first, the preset number is equal to zero. And then we can see that we have an error, expect to find semicolon. So we add it. So oops, it is preset number. Perfect. You can write the name that you want. After, we will replace the text right here by preset number. And as you can see, the text take a string value right here, string. But this is a number int. So we can convert a string, uh, we can convert an int value, so a number, into a string. And to do that, it is as simple as adding dot to string. So convert this value int, so this number, dot, convert it to a string. So we click on it, and this will give us the value zero, just like that. So right now we need to tell Flutter every time we click on this button, change this number. Okay. So we need a logic. When we click on the button, we can see Pizzaria. Pizzaria is right here inside the unpressed. So when we press on this button, this will trigger. So after the print, we can say, okay, Let's change the number, press a number and add one. So we will say press a number. The value right here is equal to the same press a number like that, but plus one. And then we can see that we have an error and the error is expect to have a semicolon. So normally inside function, so like that, you will separate everything with semicolon. Perfect. So we will have a little problem when we click on it. And what do you think is the problem? Right now, when we click on it, this trigger, this print the pizzeria right here, and then the number change. But if you remember, the build is not rebuilding because we need to tell Flutter that we want to rebuild. And the function to use to rebuild so after pizzeria, I will say set state. We already use it in the previous in the previous video, and we will click on set state. This, if you remember, is the empty function. So uh, parenthesis curly bracket, and inside will be the value that you want to change. So we will change this value, 
Then we will rebuild everything. So from there until the end to rebuild uh, everything and rebuild as well the preset number with the new value. So this will rebuild the text with the preset number that have changed. I will remove this space. And now if we take the application, if we click on the button, this will add number every time. So this is very nice. We have pretty much everything inside this simple, simple application to know the basics of Flutter. We can add a bar on the top. We can add a bar on the bottom. We can add image. We can add icon. We can add number text. We can add pretty much everything to build a, an application. So now you are ready to start your $1 million application. But we will continue on this course with another application and see you on the further video. Bye.